Physiology SAQ 10, Cerebral Blood Flow A. What is the role of cerebral blood flow? 2 marks CBF provides oxygen and nutrients to the brain and removes carbon dioxide and metabolic waste products from the brain. B. How is cerebral blood flow sustained in the presence of raised intracranial pressure? 8 marks Important formulae Cerebral perfusion pressure is defined as MAP minus ICP or CVP, whichever is higher. Oswald Hagen formula states that flow equals delta P times pi times radius to the power of 4 divided by 8 eta L, where eta is the viscosity of fluid and L the length of the tube. Cerebral blood flow equals CPP divided by CVR, where CVR is the cerebral vascular resistance. R equals delta P divided by Q. CVR equals 8 eta L divided by pi R4. In the presence of raised intracranial pressure, CBF can be maintained by increasing CPP by decreasing ICP, increasing CBF by reducing CVR, increasing CPP by increasing MAP, and increasing CPP by decreasing CVP. Increasing cerebral perfusion pressure by decreasing intracranial pressure. The Monroe Kelly Doctrine states that as the skull is a rigid container of constant volume, any increase in the volume of one of the skull's contents must be compensated for by a reduction in volume of another if a rise in ICP is to be avoided. Intracranial contents in adults, brain tissue 1.4 to 1.5 kg or 80 to 85 percent, blood 100 to 150 ml, where venous blood is 6 to 7 percent and arterial blood 3 to 4 percent. CSF 110 to 120 ml or 10 percent, and extracellular fluid less than 100 ml. Three stages of compensation occurs as ICP increases. First, there is decrease in CSF volume intracranially. Changes in CSF distribution and bulk flow are initial compensatory responses. Initially, CSF is displaced into the spinal subarachnoid space, or the reabsorption rate of CSF may increase. Afterwards, there will be decrease in venous blood volume and lastly decrease in arterial blood volume. A sharp rise in ICP occurs when the compensatory mechanisms are exhausted. Increasing cerebral blood flow by reducing cerebral vascular resistance. Factors affecting CVR includes metabolic autoregulation, pressure or myogenic autoregulation, chemical factors, and nervous system innervation of cerebral blood vessels. Autoregulation. Autoregulation is defined as the ability of an organ to regulate its blood flow despite changes in perfusion pressure. Pressure autoregulation. If raised ICP causes reduced CPP, diminishing pressure within the vessel causes relaxation and vasodilation. Vasodilation reduces CVR by increasing the radius of blood vessels and this increases CBF. Decreased CPP results in decreased stretch of arterioles, decreased resting tone of arterioles, increased diameter of vessel, reduced CVR and increased CBF. Pressure autoregulation maintains normal CBF over a wide range of MAP, typically 50 to 150 mmHg for the brain. As ICP increases, CBF will be maintained until CPP falls below 50 mmHg. Metabolic autoregulation Actively metabolizing cells surrounding arterioles release vasoactive substances that causes vasodilation. Increase or decrease in metabolism leads to increase or decrease in release of these vasodilator substances. If raised ICP causes hypoperfusion, hydrogen ions, nitric oxide and adenosine and other vasoactive substances accumulate in the tissues at low flow and this mediates vasodilation. Vasodilation reduces CVR by increasing the radius of blood vessels and this increases CBF. Chemical factors. If raised ICP causes inadequate respiration and resulting hypoxia and hypercapnia, cerebral arterioles will vasodilate in response to hypoxia and hypercapnia. Nervous system. Sensory fibers that originate from the trigeminal ganglion expresses vasodilators 
such as substance P and calcitonin gene-related peptide, stimulation of these nerves during special situations like seizures during race ICP can cause cerebral vasodilation and increases in CBF. Next is increase CPP by increasing MAP. Increasing ICP may be followed with a massive sympathetic outflow that occurs due to brainstem herniation. Massive sympathetic outflow results in increased MAP by increasing heart rate, contractility of the heart, and peripheral vasoconstriction as the body attempts to increase cerebral perfusion pressure. Raised MAP with accompanying bradycardia and abnormal respiration is known as the Cushing's triad. If raised ICP causes inadequate respiration and hypoxia, the CNS ischemic response also causes a massive sympathetic outflow. Increasing CPP by decreasing CVP. Raised ICP may cause neurogenic diabetes insipidus, which may reduce CVP by reducing blood volume through diuresis.